scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. If you are in this church and God wants to lift you, there is a grace on your father for not just revelation but confirmation. There is a real grace that confirms what God is about to do in people's lives. The question is, can you see it? Hallelujah. You look at a woman with 15 children, one womb, same woman, 15 children, firstborn governor, second son, vice chancellor, third daughter, consultant. Yet she didn't go to school. You really think she can train those children like that? No, there is a grace. You can be struggling with two children and package a seed and say mama you don't know my name and i don't know where you are coming from but to raise 15 children and none of them is an arm robber none of them is a prostitute whatever grace release it on me now mama may just laugh and say my dear son or my dear daughter towards the end of last year one of the women that was part of founding a great ministry in this nation abroad in a number of nations the lord gave her an instruction to fly down to come and see me old woman successful children i just hear that this woman is around to see me towards the end of the year mommy god bless you she said my son god sent me to come because it's a season of strange lifting for you and God said I should just come just fellowship with you and that when you come to my nation I should be responsible for your stay for everything but I was wise enough to know that it's not just about staying in her house there is a grace on her that must be introduced into my life when I say I'm a product of many anointings it doesn't mean I'm a product of impartation from many men of God I am a product of impartation from many altars if you wait for men of God alone to bless you, you will not go very far. Because the real people that bless men of God are not men of God. The real people that bless men of God are in the secret. Go and read your Bible. They are king makers. A king maker never becomes a king, but he makes kings. Study the history of your churches in the West. The people who lifted the people you celebrate were not lifted themselves. So if all you are waiting for is a man's result, you may not rise. Because there are people, somebody can see that not even have a church. He just sits in his house, prays, supports missionaries. Whereas that is the grace you tap into to have an international ministry. Be careful if all you look at is physical results. Because God hides great things. That's why your heart cannot be seen. Imagine if a woman's hand is on her head a woman's womb is on her head do you know what your enemies will do with the baby so god hid it inside i can slap your head and god designed it to be strong enough to endure every kind of wickedness that will happen to it but the fragility of your womb your heart those organs god hid it so when god hides people we live in a generation where we are obsessed to be seen let me tell you a secret 
the more powerful you are in the spirit the more god hides you it's a principle prophets in ancient times hardly traveled even in the west here they were seers they will remain in a room like Habalis for a long time. But as soon as you open the door, they will call your name and say, sit down. Let me tell you your destiny. And you are wondering, who is this? They say, young man, you are going to be great. But be careful on the ninth year of your life. If you are not careful, this will happen. What I'm seeing, you should fail. But give me room. Let me go and tell God to change it. That's how they will talk. By the next day, they will come. They will say, I discuss with God. You are free you would think it's a joke look those people knew god oh they knew god some of them were roaming around the forest when power fell on their head they were not in a, a, a if our generation does not balance our new revelation with honor we will lose all the covenants that make sustainability that's why we young people have a lot of balloon success we come out today and make noise today and two years we are down because we are not supported by anything ancient i was talking with minister dosin when he was telling me about his father and the revival and the move he, he happens to be at the same place with with god's servant the same region I've studied some of those people. I've studied some of those prophets. My God! I'm telling you, history does not do justice to the level of power and insight and the knowledge of God they had. They were men. They had their limitations. But these men knew God. They could go and discuss with God as though in a board meeting and come out and look at you and say, this should happen to you. But I just discussed with God and he agreed to let you go. They can look at you and tell you if you don't behave well if your feet touches this city they will carry your dead body you will think it's a joke you just come i just flew in from europe flew in from wherever your feet will touch there and god will honor even if they are wrong he will honor them and then he will correct them later on that's the kind of covenant they had with god i wish what i were saying were a lie but it is true Lagos hear me when God says it's a season of open doors the real door is not just business the real door is not just properties the real door is not just investment the real door is your eyes the real door is your ears because when your eyes is opened this is why the prophetic ministry is powerful and this is why it's the most abused because it's a ministry that thrives on open eyes and open ears do you know i can stand right now sir please come i can look at this man and in the spirit i can see that this man is a multi-millionaire now i've taken advantage of open eyes but because i do not have character and i'm not serious with god i will prophesy to him call his name are you together and now manipulate money out of him that one is not god that one is flesh but i took advantage of the open eyes so i can look in this congregation and fish out the wealthiest people fish out the greatest politicians and prophesy because it is at now is now is at my disposal now by the privilege of open eyes i can deceive and manipulate and because i have details that are true you will believe me Are we blessed the miracle of open eyes who is God lifting in January who is God lifting in March you must have the eyes to see it so that you can come and plant your impact in the heart of that man it is easy to rise when your eyes are open you will know where to channel your energy productively so you don't waste your time investing in people who are not rising Are we together? The first day I saw your daughter, sir, Efer Nathan. I remember the first day she ministered. I looked at her. I said, Ah, this lady is not just a worshiper. 
she's a prophetic worshiper she truly has a grace that sets the atmosphere it's true the first day I met with minister Dunsin I told him and we continue to talk about it all the time I said this man what God will do with this man in the nations and I'm saying it even again and to the open the grace it is his personal competence and sacrifice but he's an extension of an ancient altar believe what I'm telling you this man you see is not just a song he's continuing something ancient the national anthem of Nigeria says the labor of our heroes past it's not just heroes that fought physical war. There are spiritual heroes past. And some of us you see are extensions of what is happening. Let hope, let it rise. Darkness trembles in your home. Listen. There are graces that when you carry, God will not allow you marry from certain places. It's not whether it is good or bad. Ah, this is what your prophets used to do. They will look and tell you, no, I don't know why. The person is not wrong, but this combination is wrong. Now, it is not on all cases. There are people because of the prophecy on their life. Don't get me wrong. I hope you understand what I'm saying. It is true. It does not happen in all cases, but believe me, there are certain graces. There are times that God will connect you to a man and a woman and you look physically and there's no reason why you should be married. And God says, just do what I'm asking you to do. I am joining altars more than men. And two of you will bring a hybrid combination. The children that will come out from that altar will introduce a new anointing to the body do you remember in scripture when this guy was laboring to pay dowry on his wife a ghost suddenly appears her stomach starts protruding say no i've gone through a lot of trouble with you madam my name is joseph you can go and look for whoever got you pregnant i'm tired your stomach is protruding who did you sleep with and nobody a, a, a spirit came to me and told me I'm highly favored. What is why didn't the spirit appear to say, Okay, be patient as a husband, just let me just use your wife to give birth to the Messiah? And hear me, while all that discussion was happening, Joseph wanted to, is in your Bible, to leave her, and an angel appeared and said, Mr. Man, don't you don't know what you are doing? There is a mystery, just be patient, let them give birth to Jesus, you can have your children, but be that father. You are about to be introduced into a history that you do not know. Do you believe what I'm sharing? so there are times that you have every reason every reason in fact there are some graces when you carry you cannot relocate to certain regions the graces and the nature of the operation of that graces require you are domiciled within certain regions so we will carry those graces God will he will not tell you this is why because God knows we are stubborn so he will look for an attractive excuse to take you to that place do you realize that one time Jesus wanted to pray for a blind person he took him out of one city into another before praying for him Jesus I'm at liberty to share these things because this is a prophetic church your man of God is a prophet. You understand? I will not share this thing in every cycle because sometimes people will think we are just talking a lot of nonsense. But believe me, if you call what I'm saying nonsense, I wish you good luck. In this wicked world, this cruel world that ignorance is, you pay with your lifetime. This is the mystery behind the results of people. 
Now, nobody will be honest enough to open up like this and tell you that behind the results you see there are mysteries. You just see people rising and here's what we say, you are lucky. I'm demystifying that mystery called luck that there are altars, there are support systems that lift people. That's why they don't fear what people do because they know what is backing them. Hallelujah. Open eyes that you can see. Open eyes for your finances. Open eyes for everything around your life. I want you to be tired of the realm you are now. I want you to be tired of struggling. Tired of having to meet people to lobby your way in. And no, 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 no. There are superior systems. Hallelujah. This is one of my dear people. He's a military officer. One time they sent him to Maiduguri where they were fighting with Boko Haram. And they almost killed this my dear son for me. I said, Lord, I thank you for the military people who are fighting. But please, I ask you, take this my son out of that place. We still need him for a long time. And that's why they carried him. I think he's in Lagos now. So. And he still comes to serve in the media every time. This is a military man. Because even though even though he's fighting he knows the altar and the grace that supports him listen believers let's be wise the days are evil the days are evil let us sustain spiritual intelligence no music artist in nigeria rises sustainably without being connected to a solid altar it is true Otherwise, a day will come, songs will not come again. A territory will squeeze you like an orange for over six months, inviting you every day to every meeting. After six or seven months, they will spit you out and that's the end of your career. But there are people who remain ever fresh. The secret, I tell you, you look at them, it's not necessarily their skill or prowess alone. They are tied to something that is ancient. You don't find the root on earth you only find the body the root is in the realm of the spirit it does not die is god speaking to us we are going to pray i know that our time is gone but we'll pray before i begin to minister ah this morning god will surprise you all that that you left your house and came here no 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 he never calls the seed of jacob to seek him in vain and let me tell you this let me tell you this if the next few minutes you open your heart you will be surprised what god will do in your life men are made in the night not in the day the day is for manifestation the night is for making according to god's protocol is the evening and the morning the morning does not start a day if your day starts in the morning, it's already too late. Both conception and delivery happens in the morning. In the night. Listen, while you are seated, I'd like you to be, I'm provoking you, be tired of where you are. And say, Lord, I thank you. You have blessed me, but this is not it. This is not it for my children. This is not it for my destiny. I thought things would change in 2016. I thought things would change in 2017. But Lord, this year of open doors, maybe someone should jump up on his feet and begin to walk around this auditorium prophetically. Walk around this auditorium. It's time for me to move in the name of Jesus Christ. Please wear the instrumentalist, just help me. Someone is walking around and prophesying. Don't just walk around looking. Please prophesy. I refuse to be in the same position. I refuse to be in the same position by the power of the Holy Ghost. Shalika baranda salata siaka brakataka tabarakato sadebalakas. Someone is praying in the name of Jesus.
Shekete Kaparakata, Shekete Leke Parako Sosiata, Embrata Satalikata. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Please do me a favor if you can. If there is no space, that's all right. But please pair yourselves into three. We are going to pray. The Bible says a threefold cord. We want to invoke mysteries in this place and pray. Please pair yourselves into three. If there is no space, just do two, two. Pair yourselves into three. Let's pray so that things will shift and change in our lives. Listen. In the next five to ten minutes, you are going to hold the hands of these people while you pray. This is going to be the prayer. Lord, every grace and covenant that is hidden on the person that I'm holding, I draw that grace through honor. Lift your voice and pray someone. You may be holding your brother, but pray. Outside, are you praying? Kaparakata, embrekete kete ke parakatos, lakata prakata zikati, repo shavata pambarakatos, lakata prosa na marakata, embrete reke paruto shotoka, dobre, reke teni kote. I draw you to my spirit, covenants of lifting. I draw you to my spirit, graces that make great. I draw you to my spirit, sacrifices that open. Jesus please change and hold another person's hand change and hold somebody's hand don't, don't we lay the man of God please make sure are you ready you are still going to pray the same prayer please these are prophetic instructions I tell you you are not wasting your time believe me a threefold cord that cannot be easily broken you're going to lift your voice again lord what have you planted in this man what have you planted in this woman what altar of the spirit sponsors their possibility i draw it to honor lift your voice <laughs> Shut up, 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 Shut up,
on your eyes and you are going to say the door of my eyes you are also the door of my destiny in the name of Jesus be open let me see lift your voice and begin to pray lift your voice and pray be open see opportunities be open be open be open see relationships be open in the name of Jesus be open in the name of Jesus a father a father be open be open Karapato solo be open let me see my helpers be open let me see the business ideas the door of my eyes be open the door of my eyes be open Hallelujah. The last prayer point, then we'll begin to minister. The head of a man is the symbol of your glory. It is true. But my horn shall thou exalt like the horn of a unicorn. And I shall be anointed with fresh oil. Please listen to me. It is true that what is on your head determines what is on your cup. You are going to lay your hands on your head and cast away every negative atmosphere and every programming, whether it is of ancestry, whether it is of bloodline, have been called out of every tribe and every tongue and every nation. And I decree and declare, may my head be lifted up he said listen to me he says thou O lord art a shield for me psalm 3 my glory he says the lifter up of my head you're going to prophesy my head my destiny rise up rise up from the ashes rise up from the grave someone is praying someone is praying thou that sleepest rise from the ashes of mediocrity rise from the ashes of failure rise from the ashes of limitation. 
Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Let me give us one more prayer point. In John 11, when it was time to bring Lazarus out of the grave, he said, roll away the stone. When it was time for Jesus to come out of the grave, the angel came and rolled away the stone. You are going to roll away every stone. Listen, there are people, the truth is you are standing physically, but spiritually, there is a door that has closed your destiny. You are going to pray. Listen, pray like a prophet, pray like a priest, that in the name of Jesus, that every stone that covers my glory, my family, our name, our relevance, we roll you away by the Spirit of God. It's time for Lazarus to come forth. Someone is praying. Pray for your family. Pray for your relatives. Roll away the stone. Roll away the stone of limitation. Roll away the stone of retrogression. Roll away the stone that shuts your relevance, that shuts your voice. <laughs> Roll away that stone of shame, of reproach. Roll away that stone of limitation. It's time for me to come out. It's time for my destiny to be announced. It's my season of appearing. Roll away that stone. Roll it away in the name of Jesus. Tell you things are shifting in this place yes yes can i give you one more prayer point father everything tying me down he said lose that man and let him go the stone can be rolled away but your past is still holding you the stone can be rolled away but yesterday is still holding you refusing that you will not enter tomorrow everything in my yesterday that is refusing me from entering tomorrow whether it is your past whether it is your failures so let me go i cut away from you lift your voice and pray my family serve idols but today i'm not an idol worshiper i've been called out of every tribe every tongue every nation i reject the ordinances of the past the negative covenant that can drive me down i reject you by the blood of the eternal covenant i set myself loose
That is already morning. We just have a few more minutes and the vigil is over. But listen, listen to me. There are times in a man's destiny that you must be very serious with your life and insist. You know, the challenge with many believers is we are not yet serious enough. One thing I know with the devil is he respects seriousness. Take it from me when there is a level of fire and seriousness you apply to your destiny he said resist the devil and he will flee not he may flee if he's not fleeing the resistance is not strong enough hallelujah we are going to pray did you bring your prayer request okay please return back to your seat if you've not written your prayer request, we'll give you five minutes. Please write it because I'm about to minister now. Inside, outside, those following online from whatever nation, you can write and send your request. Please do it very quickly. We're about to pray. Everything you are tired of seeing that must let you go. Please write it down. Nobody's reading it. Right here, it will be prayed for and then it will be burnt away. So... You don't have to be afraid that people will read your request. You don't have to write your name. You just write what it is. Some of you may need to call your loved ones and say, what, what are we tired of in this family? That must go. I'm convinced that a vigil without prayer is a waste of time. A vigil that you did not pray prophetically and strategically is a total waste of time the ministry of prayer and the ministry of the word remains the principal tools for healing for deliverance for breakthrough this is a very deep and profound mystery what we are doing and is biblical once upon a time three kings came together to threaten the people of God and they submitted the request on the altar Go ahead, write your requests. The Bible says, to be anxious for nothing, he says. He says, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, he says, make your request known. Don't assume it is known. Make your request known. Please write it down. And in case your faith did not allow you to write some things write it again no? because sometimes we can be used to pain and long-standing issues that we're even afraid to write them because we say can God make a way in the wilderness we are here for you, come and do what you do. We are here for you, come and do what you do. Set our hearts on you, come and do what you do. This is your home. Hallelujah. Now, if you've written it, please, ushers, ushers will go around. You're just going to pass it. They'll bring it before the altar here. You can pass it to the last person, maybe the person on the aisle. Can we do it that way? Maybe to make it easy. Or ushers, just go around. Maybe just find a way of organizing yourself. Please make sure everyone's request is here. Just, you can just submit it. We are here for you. Come and do what you do. We are here for you. Come and do 
come and do what you do. Set our hearts, set our hearts. Submit it to the ushers moving round. There are ushers moving. I don't know if there are ushers up there. If they are yet to collect yours, you can just wave yours and somebody will. Please, there are people waving there. Let's, let's have their hands. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, my life is changing in the name of Jesus. I will never be the same I've touched your grace My life is changed I will never be the same I've touched your grace My life is changed I will never be the same I've touched your grace My life is changed I will never be the same, I've touched your grace. My life is changed. My life is changed. My life is changed. My life is changed. that I see today I will see them no more forever somebody is praying don't let the devil tell you you are wasting your time these Egyptians that I see today I see them no more forever do we have all the requests agreement with the altar of your father pastor Amos Fenwa just just with here you'll pack it back so let's... someone's life is about to change 
a new season is about to open for someone in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus please make sure we have everything here unto him that answers prayer shall all flesh come someone help mama she's trying to come with her request please somebody collect it hallelujah praise the lord amen i will not trouble our father but i will just stand praying so that his, his, his grace is here speaking but while you are there please stretch your hands here with faith believing and I want you to begin to blast in tongues while you are standing I'm going to go on my knees and cry to the God of heaven Will you open up the gates Open up the doors Will you open up the gates Open up the doors Stretch your hands and asking me to stand on it listen the moment i stand on it the power of god is going to begin to touch people please i want you to bring them out it's an instruction that the holy ghost is giving to me hallelujah the lord is giving me an instruction that the moment i stand on this and i stand on it in the name of jesus i stretch my hands over this congregation father in the name of jesus the anointing 
that must open doors right now from the left to the right the front to the back may that grace locate people now Amen. take that grace now Amen. please bring them out in the name of jesus christ Amen. you're going to sing a song for me let your power flow in this place bring them out let your healing power like a rope this is delay and i'm seeing the number 17 right now there are 17 people all over the congregation i stretch my hands the anointing of the spirit is coming on you now breaking delay bring them out i release that grace delay break now please bring them out now in the name of jesus the spirit of delay tying down people's lives be broken now Comfort signs and one inside outside bring them out. The spirit of delay. Shalakatabata. Whether you are inside, outside, bring them. voice in one minute and rebuke delay from your life. Lift your voice in one minute rebuke delay from your life. It's time to walk through open doors. Time to walk through open doors. showing me the hands of people tied i'm seeing hands that are tied i want to pray right now the power of god will come on those people some of you it's not just your hands that are tied it's even the hands of your family god will touch you for your family i'm seeing right now at the count of three one two three may that grace break those chains right now break those chains oh my god my god my god God is bringing deliverance. Help that woman, please. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. Now, please hear me. I'm still praying. The Lord wants to break people free from covenants and yokes of darkness. At the count of three, you're going to shout that name, Jesus. There is a strong fire from this altar that will fall upon your life. Are you ready now? Please bring those people. In the name of Jesus, anyone's destiny here that has been tied by the orchestrations of witchcraft, I come by the rod of a higher priesthood. In the name of Jesus, at the count of three, as you shout, may that yoke be broken. You will shout Jesus at the count of three. One, two, 
about to change completely what I see God doing will surprise you man can I pray for you who is Jonathan Jonathan I'm hearing a name Jonathan Jonathan you are wearing a white like a white cloth Jonathan who is that is there somebody like that break every chain break every chain Break every chain. What's your name? Please verify that they are not just coming out. Please. Don't just. Your name is Jonathan. Sir, your name is Jonathan. It's alright. I will pray with you. Whose mother is in the teaching hospital? There's someone, your, your, your mother also is in the teaching hospital. Sick. I don't know who that person is, but please come. I want to pray. When you find that person, I want to pray for you. In the name of Jesus, I want to pray for you. I want to pray for you. Kemi, who is that? K-E-M-I, Kemi. That's, that's somebody's name. Please, who is that? Quickly. Ma, I want to pray for you. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God. I truly see a very serious breakthrough. Why are they coming? Look at what is happening to this woman. Look at this. Look at this. Look what is happening to this woman. I'm seeing something being loose from her. Leave her now. Look at look at a miracle happening right in your presence. My God. My dear, look at me. Shout Jesus, this girl, tap her. Shout Jesus as loud as you can. Out of her now. In the name of Jesus. My dear, look at me. Lift your hands. I declare that the reproach on your life and your family, let it come to an end now. By the power of the Holy Ghost. I'm going to pray for you in the name of Jesus I command that you go out of her life now in the name of Jesus out of her life see let me tell you please don't think we are wasting our time here God is rearranging destinies My dear, the Lord is saying I should prophesy to you. Remember not the former things, this, this young lady, nor consider the things of old. Come, the Lord is asking me to lay my hands on you, that things will turn around in your life in a way that will surprise you. In the name of Jesus, let this happen even by the Spirit. An end comes to oppression in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ, Susan, 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 I'm hearing the name Susan. Who is Susan? You are Susan. Who is Susan? Mama, you are Susan. From where? 
from where are you? Is, please help us. Is this mic working? Huh? I married to a kitty, but I'm from Delta. I want to pray for you. Can I rebuke the spirit of death over your family? The power of God is going to come on someone now. The Lord is averting death from your family. It's, listen, no, no, no. It's a specific person. I want to bring the person out right now. A strong anointing is going to fall on someone. Please bring the person. That spirit of death. I just saw like a dark shadow. In the name of Jesus, the son of the living God, I decree and declare that everyone and every family are pointed unto death by the spirit of the living God. It is averted now. When the power of God comes on that person, please pick the person and bring them out. The anointing of the spirit. That man near the door, that man wearing red, tell him to lift his hands. That gentleman standing near the door, tap him and tell him to lift his hand. No, the one wearing red, tell him to lift his hands. In the name of Jesus, I command the spirit of death out of his life and out of his family. Now, in the name of Jesus Christ. Mama, let me pray for you. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands to you. And I pray. The grave is a spirit. It can call people. You can hear it like someone is calling you. But it is the grave. I command in the name of Jesus. May your ears be shot towards the voice of the grave. In the name of Jesus. For you and for your children. And I declare you are free now and you are free forever please don't be embarrassed there is the Lord is showing me a woman here I know that generally there will be a lot of people but there is a woman here this is up to four five six like six years you are trusting God for the fruit of the womb who is that person I'm, I'm seeing up to one two three four five six please come your time has come who is that Haribiti Arabata And you are talking to Haribiti Please stand up Stand up Don't. Please stand up Let me know I know some of you just came out It's not what I said but you still came out But God God will still touch you I know some of you I hope you are all married Praise God. We have to be careful in the house of God over the things we pray for. Praise the Lord. Where is your husband? Please help us with the mic. Media, can, can you help us so that the mic works? My husband is at home. Where? Where is home? Maryland. Maryland. Yes. You are in Lagos here. Yes. Do you believe that if we pray for you, Yes. You will have a child. Yes. You will come and stand in this altar yes. and testify. Yes. Kai, the wonder working power of God is a marvel. The power of God is going to come on one of you. One of you here, right now. Now, out of her. Barrenness is a spirit it can hear. Out now release their destiny release their fruitfulness it's over go and return with your children in the name of Jesus Christ I speak to you and I prophesy according to the time of life I don't care what the situation is in the name of Jesus Christ I speak to you by the power that raised Christ from the dead standing on this altar of Pastor Amos Fenwa as the prophet of God I decree and declare you will return with your child in the name of Jesus. My dear, is your husband here? Because the Lord is telling me he's here. Where is he? Please help us. Are the mics working? Call him. Where is he? 
husband well so let's save time our time is, is do you call his name so that he will hurry up Shola Fawe. Shola, are you here sir okay someone has gone to call him there is a reason why I'm asking him to come I hope you're not embarrassed a few minutes and, and we'll be done what's your name Susan I want to pray for you where are you from what do you have to do with Anambra State? My father is from there. Your father is from Anambra State. I want to pray for you. That every altar that stands to destroy your destiny, in the name of Jesus, I curse that altar now. Out! Now! <laughs> Sir, how long have you been trusting God for the foot of the womb? Huh? About six years. Do you believe the end has come? Yeah. Hold my hands. My friend, look at me. You believe in miracles? Huh? Yes, sir. Shout Jesus as loud as you can. Jesus! In the name of Jesus, it's over. I needed to pray for him first. Now, I see what is happening. I prayed for him and the miracle happened to the wife. You see, the eyes to see, you must trust God for grace that simple instruction look at this this is to tell you that when people marry two really become one because i wanted to pray for her and the lord said no this is the man you will pray for and then this will please go you will return with your testimony i can't even remember why you are kemi all of you why are you here sometimes this thing okay do you do business huh what do you do i sell clothes and i run a training outfit ah madam this is your year you are going to make a lot of money Amen. is it your mother <laughs> i spoke about business and you ran out ah, you do business too what do you do huh kitchen utensils kitchen kitchen utensils ah okay i will pray with you to help but madam can i pray with you don't forget god though, as he lifts you because what i see happening to you it will surprise you june july august there are strange months of breakthrough for you i release that grace upon you right now in the name of jesus it's over in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ these are your children come who is this one this fella my first one your first one where is she uh, at the road pray for how huh i will speak in parables the bible says the rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous lest they dip their hands in iniquity please pray for her i am convinced that if you are born again and your association is not born again you are not born again i'm sorry but this, this is how you have to be born again enough to affect your association praise the lord so we have to be very careful so that sometimes we don't get ourselves mixed up into a lot of this nonsense that destroy god's people oh madam i pray for you may doors be open for you now in the name of jesus and for all of you here who are standing, I want to pray for you. August is your month of wedding. Who is that? August, come. Because I'm seeing something that can will create serious trouble. I must pray for you. I'm not saying if you want to marry August, though. Please understand what I'm saying. What? I'm seeing too many people. No, I'm not saying if you want to marry well. Are you married? Huh? August. No, I'm talking. I'm sorry. Maybe I didn't communicate it well. I meant you have fixed your wedding date. And it is for August. Because some of the people I'm seeing here, you should not be. Is there someone like that? This is what I'm seeing. Please, if there's someone like that, I want to pray for that person now. 
you your wedding when August it's been fixed is your pastor aware oh you just agreed ah I respect protocol oh, so that I don't come and bless make sure you meet I will pray for you eh, but this is this is the the, 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 the relevant committee will work on it what, what's what's happened to mama By August. That's right. They are getting married. Yeah. This is the wife and this is the husband. This is the wife, this is the husband. Which one is your child, Mama? Uh, my son, I mean, the boy. Okay. In the name of Jesus, we pray. There will be no accident. Yes, Mama, what happened to you? What happened to you? I, I'm sick. I, I'm sick. I went to Beria. 2018. You are a member of this church, Mama? Mm, my son is a member. I okay, am. okay. Member you went for church. burial. Mm, and from that, your leg just paralyzed. I first sick seriously. I'm the one that come out just now. Come and give the money that I nearly died. He said. Okay, she shared the testimony. Since you are already out, let me pray for you, Mama. No, don't worry. I will just pray for you. Eh? Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for Mama. Let the power of God heal you from this arthritis. In the name of Jesus Christ, let the anointing of the Holy Ghost completely set you free. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now, I pray for every one of you. For whatever reason, in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare. You will return with strange testimonies my sister look at me this lady lift your hands i'm looking at you in the realm of the spirit and i'm not seeing a face stand up i'm seeing a body but i'm not seeing a face i must rebuke bad luck from your life can i pray for you i hope you're not embarrassed hold my hands where are you coming from in the name of jesus let this be over in your life now in Jesus name this fair lady you that come it's time for God to turn your family around please come I bless all of you in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus Christ everything that is not of God let it give way God bless you please you can return back to your seat I prayed for you have I prayed for you man? in Jesus name I release you by the power of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I want to pray for you. Where are you coming from, my dear? Huh? Jonathan. Where are you from, sir? In the name of Jesus, I release you and I open up doors for you. In the name of Jesus, I open up doors for you by the power of the Holy Spirit. In the name of where are you from, my dear? I'm coming from the convention of Manambra State. In the name of Jesus, may the Lord restore the blessings of your family. Everything that represents shame and reproach, I come against it now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Can I pray for the sick? My God, our time is already gone. Let me use a few minutes to pray for the sick. If you are trusting God for healing any part of your body, um, you don't have to come out just we may not have all that time where you are just where you are don't worry right where you are just lay your hands there there are so many people trusting God so we may not she's already out I'll pray with you but in the name of Jesus Christ <laughs> by the power of the Holy Ghost God bless you. Now, I want to pray for the sick, please. Believe in miracles. I want you to lay your hands where you are trusting God for. If it's a part of your body you cannot touch, just touch your chest. And I will pray for you right now. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. You are the King. There is none other, yes, Lord, yes.
Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. You are the King. There is none other. Yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please say amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Right now I decree and declare. By the power that raised Christ from the dead. That every spirit responsible for every kind of infirmity in your body. I cast that spirit out in the name of Jesus right now I decree and declare in the name of Jesus be healed right now receive your healing right now receive your healing right now receive your healing right now from the crown of your head even to the soles of your feet be healed now be healed now every lump in the breast area or any part of your body I command it to disappear now the power of God is touching people migraine headache be healed now peptic ulcer be healed now heart palpitations be healed now every challenge with your bones in the name of Jesus I correct it now pile no matter how long be healed now in the name of Jesus there's someone you have severe pain around your molars your teeth in the name of Jesus the power of God is touching that person right now touching that person right now we're going to take a few testimonies here in the name of Jesus Christ there's someone you have excruciating stomach pain you've not been able to figure what the problem is month after month excruciating pain right now you're going to feel just like fire a warm sensation and that's the end of it I declare be healed now in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ there's someone I think because of your blood group you have um, a lot of pain help them the power of God is coming on that person right now around your joints severe pains in the name of Jesus right now the power of God is touching you every problem with your eye in the name of Jesus the son of the living God I decree and declare be healed now any challenge with your ears in the name of Jesus I declare unto you be healed now by the power of the Holy Ghost be healed now in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus I'm seeing someone who eats and throws up what you are eating you are not exactly sick like your body but you eat and you just feel this irritation and then you throw it up in the name of Jesus I declare to you be healed now completely set free completely set free it looks like hyena around your groin area but it brings severe pain and it has refused to go I don't know who that is but in the name of Jesus I'm declaring to you be healed right now there's someone just just around the area where you feel pain for appendicitis you've been feeling that pain this is up to two years now I'm praying for you by the power of the Holy Spirit be healed now supernatural healing in the name of Jesus supernatural healing um, my God you had a dream and it's like a dream or something from what I'm seeing and someone told you that they will put cancer on you in the name of Jesus I don't know who that is I hope you know that these things you see most of these challenges are demonic in origin they really truly are I'm praying for you right now
the lady that shouts under the anointing the power of God is coming on a lady now I'm seeing a lady not a man it's a very loud shout please bring that person I just want to prophesy over that person and rebuke this thing that I'm seeing there is something in your stomach that God wants to remove out in the name of Jesus thank you Jesus this is an instruction God is giving me so please just be patient with me as that anointing comes upon that person please bring the person here right now I want to pray no that's not the person the power of God is going to come upon the person I will still pray but that's not the person this one I'm seeing in the realm of the spirit I was praying and the Holy Spirit just interrupted me it's a very strong anointing and it's just coming on someone right now you see when you are spiritual you have to be sensitive to the Holy Spirit we are here responding to what he wants not what we want and if you are not sensitive you can miss out on prophetic things for people's lives praise the Lord I don't know why he does this thing sometimes but we just are patient please just be sensitive the power of God will come on that person bring her oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah oh yeah 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 Jesus I decree and declare they will not tell you you have blood tubes in the name of Jesus I reject that evil report and I declare that everything that is not of the Christ in your life and in your body let it go now in the name of Jesus let it go now in the name of Jesus and now I pray for every other person whether I've mentioned your case or not I'm seeing a thermometer this is high blood pressure in the name of Jesus be free now in the name of Jesus be free now by the power of the Holy Spirit I decree and declare in the name of Jesus that everything that is not of God planted in your body I command it to come out now in the name of Jesus I command it to come out now let me wrap up by speaking over your life now listen very carefully Ezra chapter 6 and verse 14 please give it to us Ezra chapter 6 and verse 14 please let's read it together and the elders of the Jews build it and they prospered through the prophesying of Haggai the prophet and Zechariah the son of Edo and they built it and finished it according to the commandment hallelujah now listen I want to speak to you because the Bible lets us know that we are built up like living stones and I want to speak over your life they prospered through the prophesying they prospered through the prophesying prophecy is powerful and by a prophet the Lord God brought Israel out of Egypt and by a prophet they were preserved the prophetic ministry has largely been abused the prophetic ministry has been maybe tampered with the level of character and intelligence and balance may not have been quite there but it does not mean the prophetic ministry is not valid it is a ministry that is valid for all generations praise the Lord can I speak over your life prophecy does not only reveal it creates it can make what has no business happening to happen in the name of Jesus the son of the living God every closed door Holy Ghost Christian Center I pray for you that every door that has been closed towards you your business and your family I speak to that door be open now in the name of Jesus be open now in the name of Jesus 
be opened now in the name of Jesus. I speak to every branch of this ministry scattered across the globe. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God, and all the ministries connected to this grace, whatever has shut the door towards your influence, your impact, I decree and declare, those doors are open now. I pray first over your spiritual life, whatever has closed the door to hunger, genuine passion for the things of God, whatever has eroded your prayer life, whatever has dampened your word study life, so that you no longer have the hunger and the passion for the things of God. In the name of Jesus tonight, may that door of desperation and hunger towards the things of God be opened. Listen, please hear me. When a man is not serious with God, that destiny is in trouble. I don't care what you have. I don't care what you have. I don't care what you are. If your hunger, hunger is proof of health. When people are sick, the first thing that happens is they lose appetite. I always continue to check my life. I will cancel any meeting and cancel anything at all. Hello. Scriptures exhort us from the book of Proverbs. It says, My son, attend to my sins. Incline thy ears to my words. Let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee. As you have listened to this message, we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well. That you will keep these words in the midst of your heart that no matter the circumstance your eyes are going to be fixed on these words and as you have been blessed we will tell you to share this message be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed and then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos we have loads of content that is going to make you blessed that is going to set you on course that is going to set you ablaze and don't forget to like for us. Thank you.